Hi everyone, it's Katie from Crafty Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another crochet introduction to crochet video. It's going to be this half double crochet and we're just going to do a swatch like we did with the single crochet. So for this you're going to need your worsted weight yarn. You're going to need to get your size J crochet hook. You're going to need your size J crochet hook. Scissors for cutting your yarn and a yarn needle. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by making our slip knot. And if you don't know how to make a slip knot, just refer back to the single crochet video because I show you three different methods on how to do a slip knot and how to do your foundation chain. So go ahead and create your slip knot and put it on your, your hook. And then you're going to Create 15 chain stitches to make your foundation chain. One, two, yarn over, pull through for three, yarn over, pull through for four, yarn over, pull through, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. All right, so you should have something that looks like this. Now, we're going to, to do the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over your hook, and not into the, not the chain that's attached to your hook, but the one right next to it. You're going to go in, yarn over, wrap, grab it with, grab your yarn with your hook, pull through. You should now have three loops on your hook. You're going to go through two stitches, just like so. Yarn over and pull through the other two. Hold on. I apologize. I told you wrong on that one. I, I do apologize for that. So you're going to yarn over Yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull through. So you have three three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. There we go. Just like that. Now yarn over, go through your next loop, yarn over and pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through your next loop. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now, yarn over, go through. Yarn over and pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, next chain, we're going to yarn over. Go through the next chain on the hook, or on your chain. Three stitches, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through the chain that's on your chain stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull through. That puts three on your hook. Yarn over, and pull through all three. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through and pull through. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, go through all three. All right, go ahead and go ahead and finish this row off. Yarn over. Go through your next chain, yarn over and pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through the next loop, yarn over and pull through. Get myself untangled here. Okay, yarn over, pull through all three loops. 
yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull through chain, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through your chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through your last chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Okay. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Okay. So you should have what looks like this. Get some more yarn out here. Okay. So you're going to yarn over. And you're not going to go through the one that's right next to your hook. You're going to go through the one that's right next to that. So go through this one right here. So not, not this one. But this one right here. You're going to go through there. Making sure that you grab both, both legs of the stitch. You're going to yarn over. And you're going to pull through. Yarn over. Pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the next stitch, making sure you got both legs of the stitch. Yarn over and pull through, leaving you with three stitches on your hook, just like this. Yarn over and pull through all three. I'm going to do a couple more with you and then we'll come back in just a moment. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, just like that. Go through the next stitch on your work, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. I'll do one more with you, yarn over, go through, making sure you catch both legs, yarn over and pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through all three. Alright. So go ahead and finish out that row. Do your chain one. Turn your work. And I want you to do 13 rows. And I will come back and we will do the 14th row. And we will do our bind off. We will be back. Okay. I forgot to make sure tell you. Make sure you're counting your stitches. You should have 14 stitches. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Chain 1, then turn your work and go ahead and, you know, now that you've got that, I'll periodically count and make sure you've got 14 stitches, but go ahead and do your 13 rows and I'll come back with you on the 14th row. Alright, and we're back and hopefully you had, it, you, it wasn't too difficult to manage the thir those 13 rows and you should have something that kind of looks like this. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna do row 14 with you. So again, yarn over, go through the first stitch, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three, yarn over, pull through, pull through all three, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, sorry about my dogs in the background. They're being a little noisy and rambunctious right now. Apparently cold weather makes them much rowdy. Yarn over, go through your stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. As I and I tend to do that a lot. Okay, some more thread here. Okay, yarn over, go through, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through your next stitch and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through your stitch, yarn over and pull through, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, go through your stitch and yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through. Yarn over, pull through all three. So 
very simple and straightforward. Same thing you were doing on the last 13 rows. Now chain one and turn. Now we're going to do our slip stitch bind off. I'm going to go fairly quickly through this since I covered it in pretty slow in depth on the introduction, the first introduction to crochet video with the slip single crochet. I'm going to go fairly quickly, but if you didn't see that one, I'll put a I'll put a link up in the cards above as well as in the description box below. So go ahead and go click on that and check it out. So you're going to go through, yarn over, pull through, loop on your hook. Go through, yarn over, pull through, pull through again. Pull through, pull through again. Go through your stitch, yarn over and pull through, and pull through again. Pull through, go through, yarn over and pull through. Go through your stitch, yarn over and pull through, pull through the loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on your hook. And you're going to do this all the way across. And again, I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the cards above as well as in the description box below. That'll walk you through slip, how to do a slip knot if you need a refresher on that, how to do your foundation chain, and how to do the slip stitch bind off. And you're going to cut off your thread or yarn. I keep wanting to say thread, but I meant I mean yarn. And you're just going to pull it through. Give it a tug to tighten it up. Now you're going to want to grab your yarn needle. You're going to thread your tail onto it. I usually will just kind of fold it in half and pinch it between my fingers and slip it through. And just like we did with the single crochet, we're just going to slide, we're just going to bring it down a couple of stitches. Okay, and of course I pulled it out of my needle, so now I've got to re-thread my needle. Come through a couple more stitches, just like this. Come up through a couple of stitches. Come down through a couple of stitches. And what I usually will do is I'll just kind of slide it through all my stitches here. Kind of go through a fair amount. And without cutting your work, go ahead and cut off your excess yarn. Now the tail thread that you had from when you started, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to weave that in. So thread your needle. Come down a couple of stitches. And this just secures it in so you don't, it doesn't unwrap, your work doesn't unravel on you. Come back to some of the extra stitches, I mean, going straight down, just like that. Cut it off. And there you go. You've got your half double crochet square. Go ahead and go on out and practice and keep and make as many of them until you feel comfortable. And that's all we have on this. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. And we'll see you next week where we'll be learning how to do the double crochet stitch. Have a good day.